Hi everybody, my name is Tom and I'd like to talk about a little spreadsheet that I've made. It's about where are the guns, the perks, the buildables and so on in transit. So let's have a quick look at that. If you want to uh, re read the table itself, uh, just see the link in the description and you can have a look at your own. Well, first of all, the bus route. We know that the bus just drives a uh, constant circle all around the map. It starts at the bus depot, goes to the diner, then farm, then power station, and then town. It passes a tunnel, it passes a bridge, but there it will not stop. There are also some other locations like a Nach der Unten Untoten rebuild. Uh, it's kind of cool, but I have not yet found this actually. It's somewhere in the outskirts. Then wall guns. Um, interesting here is pretty much the AK-74U. If you do not use the uh, box in the where is it in the diner, uh, you may want to buy the AK-74U. It's just at the power station uh, before you enter this uh, main power room, just on the left there, just beside the entrance. Then uh, box guns. This is uh, currently under creation. I do not know too much about the. Uh, box guns and um, what what names they have. I just know the LMGs are kind of cool. I think there are three of them, but I am not sure. And the perks interesting here is of course a Chugger. Uh, it's in the town, so at the last bus stop, that means you have to wait quite a bit till you can buy it. And uh, it's in the town, just across the bank, and you need some power for it. Then, um, box locations, yeah, interesting here, it's just uh, in the diner, there is always the first box spawn, so right after the first bus stop, you can use the box if you want to. Then, uh, general information, this is just some tips and tricks, like uh, bus horns when it uh, arrives or leaves, uh, to kill fog area protector zombies, uh, you, can, uh, you must just knife about four times to kill them. But it's also cool to kill them before they actually reach you. It's not so easy, but it's possible. And uh, sprinting helps a lot to avoid them. Well, uh, about the buildables, we talked just uh, in a second. And then there is a boss zombie, a new boss zombie. It's some lightning, uh, some lightning structure. It's kind of weird. And to kill him, it seems that you should use your, your knife. And uh, that's kind of kind of difficult, kind of pain in the ass. I'm sure there are better ways, but they are not yet public. And um, yeah, you cannot use the bus when he's alive, because the bus will just not drive. Then you have to get out, and the lightning zombie follows you, and the bus will just go away because the bus is no longer blocked by the zombie. And it's kind of weird, but uh, yeah, we'll see how we can kill this guy easier, if there is any way. And how to activate power? Well, you may w just want to watch another video. The quick version is just you take the bus to the power station, you just uh, go out the bus, and there you see a door. You go in there, it's very bright, then you have to find three parts. As we can see here on the right, power switch device. You have to find three parts, a switch, uh, electric thingy, and a hand. You can combine them right there, and then you have a power switch. It will activate all perks and I think it will also open all those doors that need power but I'm actually not sure about this but I think all doors open and uh, yeah but I do not know if this also uh, unlocks the boss zombie because he's also some energy uh, figure it's kind of, yeah I do not know too much and the thing is you can deactivate power so uh, this uh, yeah may play some role, but I do not know exactly what role it plays. And how to orient myself in the fog? Well, this is really difficult. One way is, of course, you you can see the light of the box. This is one way to to get some orientation. And uh, yeah, the other one is just um, where the zombies come from. That is probably where you just have been before. Um, but but a good way to to see where you have to walk. Uh, I do not have one. I'm sorry. I'll come up with it as soon as I know. Well, the buildables just in the first room. That's the 
power generator that can um, activate perks or open doors. It's just in the first room, the only difficult part to see is this telephone thing. It's just that the telephones, you'll see it. And with that, you can open the door, you can go outside without spending any points and stuff like that. Now the zombie shield very cool, it's a one hit kill, at least till round 12, I have not been any further yet. Um, but it also will not give you any points. You do a melee attack when you press your melee button, you can place it on the ground uh, to protect yourself a bit in narrow spots when you just press the fire button. Uh, it's quite easy to see and to find the parts and stuff. The turret is in the farm, the, the parts are just spread around the farm, it's not so hard to find them. You see here what you need, a uh, fuel, lawn mower and the uh, LMP. Then the power, uh, by the way, you can't use that LMG for yourself, it's just an item that, uh, yeah, like any other item, like the fuel and stuff. Power switch device, we've talked about that. The electric trap is just at the power station, it's in the dark side. Uh, um, well, not where it, where it is so bright, so when you leave this power main station there, it gets dark again, it's some stairway there, and there you find all the parts. It's uh, maybe a bit harder to see sometimes, but you'll find them. And electric trap as well the turret, they need a power device, so you need one of those uh, power generators, I think. I do not know if the general power switch will power them too and stuff. Um, but I think it actually doesn't. Well then, a Pack-a-Punch machine, you you can build it in town when you pass some, some door in the bank. And um, I have not been so far yet, because I just have played Transit for like one hour or so. So I do not know too much about this, but it seems like easy to build it. The parts seem easy to, to be found. <clears throat> Then you can build this jet gun that we have seen in the trailer. Uh, the parts are spread all over the map and I think the locations vary a lot. I've seen some part in, in like the farm and this is something we have not um, yet mentioned here even. But there are also like parts in, in the hidden locations like in the tunnel where the bus is not stopping in Nacht der Untoten and so on. Your cabin before town, I do not know exactly what this is. So it's kind of hard to find those. Uh, those uh, parts. Then you can tune your bus. You've seen there it says like uh, parts required like on a work bench and uh, I do not know exactly what this does and what parts are needed but you'll see it on the spreadsheet when you just have a click on the link it will already be updated. And over here you just see the music easter egg and you may have noticed that you can store guns and points that's kind of cool so you can just uh, put a gun in the fridge and then you can buy another one once you are out of ammo you can get your old gun back that's kind of cool and point storage i am not exactly sure what this is good for um you lose less points when you die that is uh, one reason but uh, yeah i do not know if it makes much sense to store points just to lose less in case you die but uh, we'll see more uses of this later on, pretty sure. So yeah, just have a look on the link and then I'll come up with a little detailed, more detailed strategy video in-game done about this transit. I think it's really cool. So yeah, see you later. Bye.